Hello, my name is Aaron Bershaw. I'm the district wildlife manager uh, out in the 285 district, which covers 103, 109, 107, uh, 114, 115, 116, and 117. Um, basically, if we're looking for deer, um, the most public opportunity is going to be at the South Republican State Wildlife Area. We do a lot of um, hunting opportunity with whitetail only tags. Um, obviously, or not obviously, but doe tags uh, mostly for the opportunity. Um, it takes a little bit more points to draw for the buck tags because we do also try and manage it as a trophy unit. There are definitely big bucks out there, um, but it's also not an easy, you know, be able to pick between seven deer and know which one you're gonna be able to take by the end of a two day hunt. It's definitely gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of time and getting off the roads in order to be able to find those deer. Um, rut and pre-rut is usually the best time to find bigger deer, obviously, but uh, it is still possible if you do your homework and do some legwork to find the bigger deer. Um, there's also good mule deer out there as well. Uh, as far as the rest of the units in my district, they are 99% private. So be sure that you're asking permission to go hunt in those units. Obviously, um, in the state of Colorado, you have to have permission to hunt on private land, so be sure that you're doing your research. If you end up drawing uh, 109, 107, or even so the unit south of uh, I-70, be sure that you're getting permission and do that well in advance before um, you even draw the tag, do your research, make sure that you know that you have properties to hunt because if you purchase the tag just assuming you're going to be able to go out there and hunt, it's, it's not going to be as easy for you. Uh, same goes with pronghorn. The majority of my pronghorn are going to be south of I-70. Um, and again, it's 100% private land south of I-70, so be sure that you're asking for permission to hunt. Um, there's a lot of traffic on opening weekend, but during the middle of the week, if you can afford the time off of work, it's definitely a better time to be going and looking for pronghorn. Uh, there's quite a few good numbers of turkeys on the South Republican State Wildlife Area. There is fall turkey hunting out there. The turkey are definitely out there during the fall, but the spring turkey season is definitely um, one of the highlights in the state for places to go and hunt. Um, this year there's a lot of turkeys out there. There usually is a lot of turkeys out there. It's just a matter of uh, taking some time and scouting it out. There's two seasons. Um, it used to be one long season, but now I've broken it up into two seasons to eliminate uh, a lot of the hunting pressure on opening day, um, and it's definitely worked. There are two different strategies for the two different seasons. Obviously, the second season is going to be later in the turkey season, so you're going to be wanting to um, be sure that you do your work and, and scout it out and check it out, um, and always feel free to call if you need uh, uh, some more advice on the turkeys as your date comes up to go hunt. So um, we're always willing to answer your questions. Uh, it's always a fun time. There's always plenty of turkeys to choose from, so there's, there's lots of great opportunity there for the turkeys.